Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Oreo Reviews by Paul. Today, I have not an Oreo cookie, but a wine inspired by Oreo with some cookies to uh, go with it, apparently. So, a uh, little background, this was a collaboration with Barefoot, and uh, this went on sale, uh, and a co-worker of mine actually tipped me to it, so I was able to get it ahead of a release date, I don't know how, um, and actually had to ship it to a different state because they wouldn't ship to New Jersey, so I got lucky that I had an alternative address I could ship to. You know who you are, thank you very much. Um, so. I'm here to unbox it with you and, and try some. I am over 21 for those uh, concerned about that piece of it, but I will go through many of the same categories, uh, just a little, little bit of a twist. So uh, we got the the packaging here is is great. I love the Oreos. Uh, I love how they have to say enlarged on the box because you know this isn't what an actual cookie looks like. Uh, then we have the the bottle you're going to get. Now you do get two bottles. It goes flip over over and open immediately, contents will not disappoint. So I hope that's true, Mr. Barefoot. All right, so we got uh, a nice, oh my goodness gracious, look at this beauty. So, um, wait for more, perfect pair will wait, a little fellow kids there from Barefoot and Oreo, but that's okay, I'll allow it. Um, nice, beautiful packaging here right in the middle. We got a pack of Oreo Thins, which is, I guess, to accompany the uh, the wine here. And oh, uh, I got excited! I thought they had wine glasses. It's just, it's just packaging. That's too bad. I did bring out one of my own. Um, share your unboxing experience and tag us. I certainly will. Thank you for that. Um, let me let me start with the bottle here. Uh, good label. I guess, uh, not anything you jump at in, in the store shelves necessarily, but um, I do uh, always enjoy these crossovers, no matter how weird they get, and by golly, they're getting strange. Um, so we have two bottles here, I'm of course going to keep one for posterity and collecting purposes, I'm probably going to keep the whole box. Uh, these are twist off, so I can reseal after the little taste test here, uh, so don't worry, I'm not going to be wasting anything, I guess I should also take the cookies out. So they got some steps here for us, and if I was really uh, sophisticated, I would show you with the camera and then edit it in, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just shooting it raw here, uh, and that's how we do things around here. So, uh, step one, twist. It doesn't get much easier than this. Just twist open your bottle of Barefoot Cross Oreo Thins Red Blend and pour yourself and your bestie, and while I'm here by myself, so what are you gonna do? Uh, in a mug or plastic cup or any vessel that will do. That is their words, not mine. Um, step two is sip. Step three is crunch. I'm not going to read the color for all those steps. I think they're pretty self-explanatory. I will say I'm a little a little disappointed that the glasses aren't included. This was 25 bucks plus shipping, which was outrageous. It was 35 dollars to ship this thing. So um, you know, all told, it was a little expensive. But hey, I'm here for you people to tell you what's what. So um, let let's get cracking. My family does make its own wine. I wouldn't say I'm a wine aficionado by any stretch of the imagination, but I know a few things to look for, uh, so I'll be sprinkling some of that in. A red blend is pretty much a whole concoction of a bunch of different grapes, so it doesn't really lead much to anything. I I'm not even really sure um, what the Oreo <laughs> flavoring is here. I'll take a look at the ingredients. Uh, and you, and you always twist the bottle of wine to avoid that little drip at the end where the waiter may sometimes wipe it with a napkin. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the ingredients here. Uh, does not contain Oreo cookies. This is the disclaimer on the back. Oreo, Oreo wafer design and wine's favorite cookie are trademarks of Mondelez. Okay, great. Grape wine with natural flavors bottled by Barefoot in Modesto, California. Um, refrigerate after opening, which is very strange because you don't refrigerate red wine generally, but I guess after this. So there's more, there's more color on the label here. Um, this seems like pretty similar to what they have in the box. Uh, perfect for sharing. This blend has flavors of chocolate, hints of blackberry and dark cherries, and a smooth lingering finish. Pairs perfectly with Oreo Thins for a night of chocolatey fun. So it seems as though it's more inspired to be together than an Oreo flavor, but 
Um, you know, first look, it's a it's a nice dark color. I'm a Pinot Noir fan, generally speaking, uh, which is a little bit of a drier wine. So we'll kind of get it aerated here. Um, go for a smell. Wow. Okay, you can definitely smell the chocolate. Ladies and gentlemen, I would never lie to you here. It doesn't smell good. I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but I will follow the instructions as well. Oreo thins, nothing special here. No, no uh, rundown to go through with the packaging. There's a lot of them. So I will have my Oreo thin prepared and follow the... I already did step one. Step two is sip. More of a gulp, I think. It didn't really taste like much anything. Let me go back for seconds here. Now, for the novelty of this, I mean, there's no rating, right? This is incredible. I can't believe this is a thing that's happening in my life, and I was lucky enough to get it. I'm very excited. From a taste perspective, there's nothing special here. I wouldn't seek this out. I wouldn't pay an exorbitant amount of money to get it. Um, this tastes very much like a regular red wine. I mean, I even with the cookie pairing, not really doing anything special. Um, 13%, you know, it's, it's decently strong, I guess, for a bottle of wine. Even with kind of that chocolate on your, on your teeth, I'm not getting anything really all that special. Okay, maybe a little bit of hint of chocolate there at the end, but I... I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because I really had no expectations, and I honestly thought this was going to be trash to begin with, so if anything, I had low expectations. But I would say the packaging overall is super cool. The fact, like I said, the fact that it's even in my home is pretty sweet. I would have liked the wine glass just being greedy from a, from a branding perspective. The wine is fine. It's just not anything with Oreos. So, I don't know where that leads us. I, I, I would say it's cool. It's not anything special. Which, you know, applies to a lot of things these days. So, we'll see. You know, maybe I'd feel differently after a bottle. I did leave half a cookie here because I don't know what's going on there. I, I, maybe you'd feel differently after you crushed the whole bottle. But I don't really foresee a future where I do anything like that. Uh, like I said, I'll probably keep this one and uh, age it a few years and see if that does anything for it. But really, really grateful to have things like this. Keep it up, uh, Oreo and, and, and Mondelez. And, uh, you know, would just absolutely die for an Oreo-Nike crossover and you make a sneaker. Just, just putting that out there in the universe in case anyone's listening. Um, I would appreciate that personally. So, thanks for tuning in. As always, this is a little bit of a special one. I know it's been a while since I reviewed a cookie. I find that I've had a lot of the cookies they've been putting out lately. So, I'll keep an eye out for the new stuff. we got a few coming in 2022 I'm very excited about. Um, so, until then, thank you again for watching. Uh, as always, I'll be here reviewing Oreos and apparently sipping wine. So, stay tuned.